Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this video, we'll understand how do we validate the data accuracy. So, what is data accuracy? Data accuracy is nothing but a correctness of the data, whether the data is accurate or correct in the context of the data being analyzed. So, we have to ensure data accuracy is taken care as a part of the ETL process. Data accuracy is done to ensure that the data is accurately loaded and transformed as expected. As I said, the accuracy in the context of the project, accuracy in the context of the analysis, that is what is very important. Some of the aspects of the accuracy are whether the data is spelled correctly or not. So ideally, we should have a numerical values. Do we have a null values there? We were supposed to have a unique values. Do we have a non-unique values there? Whether the data is out of range, all these aspects come as a part of the data accuracy. So for example, assuming that customer age was supposed to be 32, but because of some wrong transformation, the customer age is calculated as 34. Isn't that inaccurate? Yes, it is. We need to find that as a part of the ETL testing process. We do have a couple of types for the data accuracy. One is data accuracy in terms of non-numerical type. The second one is data accuracy pertinent to the domain. Let us look at them one by one. When we say data accuracy in terms of non-numeric, we are talking about the values which cannot be average, which cannot be added, which cannot be treated as a numerical values. See here, what we do is we verify for the accuracy of the non-numerical content. For example, whether the email ID given is right or not. The pin code mentioned as a part of the address column in the table is right or not. If the phone number is in valid format or not. You may be wondering, hey, phone number is a numeric value, right? Yes, it is a numeric value. But will adding the different phone numbers would help us. So that is where we're considering that as a non-numeric value. We need to ensure whether the phone number is in a valid format or not, according to the country code, whether it is a 10 digit or it is a less than that. All those aspects need to be taken care as a part of validation of non-numeric values from the perspective of data accuracy. So coming back to the domain analysis, how do we look at the data accuracy put in into the domain? So we will look at the domain analysis in three ways based on value, based on range, based on reference file. If you look at the domain, when I say domain, we are talking about a column here, right? So what is the domain of this particular column and how do we specify the values based on the domain? Let us look at them one by one. So here, when you talk about the value, we will create the list of values that can occur for a column in the table as per the specification of the project and validate those column values are subset of our list. For example, here, assuming that you want to verify the gender column, we may have male, we may have female and we may have even the cross gender. At the most, gender column would have only three values, not more than that. So the values which are there as a part of the column should be either male, female or cross gender, not more than that. Coming back to the range. So when we talk about the range, what we will do is in a particular column, the requirement should have specified a value should be between certain range. As I said, it depends on the project. It depends on the columns as well. So what we'll do is we'll set the minimum and maximum range for the valid data values for a column based on specification from the business. Then we validate if the column values fall within that range. Again, it depends on column. It depends on the project. For example, here as a part of the project, they would have specified age can be 0 to 125. So in that particular project, 
if somebody wants to enter 127, 150, 200,000, this particular column should not allow them to enter a value greater than 125 years. That is the range. The last one is reference file. Here, when you are populating a table or when you are trying to do some calculations, a reference file is used to load, to perform analysis. Let us understand this with an example. Assuming that there is a retail company like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, or any retail giant. Assuming that they have multiple transactions happening on a daily basis. As a part of the transactions, products are bought, right? Now, instead of mentioning the product ID again and again, what they would have mentioned is the product name as a part of the transaction table. But there is a one more table where product ID and product name are mentioned together. So for any computations, this particular table where we have a both product ID and product name is referenced. While referencing, it is very important that the right product name is referenced with the right product ID. If not, that is a defect. So we also ensure while the reference file is used, the values are correctly referred from a reference table or a reference file. We need to ensure that is also validated. Wonderful. We understood the different aspects of the data accuracy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.